Growing up, I loved reading and watching the whole X-Men series and movie franchise. But as a person who also loves science, I noticed that their explanation of genetics and evolution my race can unleash upon yours sucks. So I decided to make a video on the science behind X-Men and how it's terribly inaccurate. The X-Men team is comprised of superhuman mutants. Now, this is a very misleading name because mutations happen in our bodies all the time, but majority of them are actually harmless. So technically, we're all mutants. Which never stops. That's so true, Liz. You're a mutant too. Like, especially during this. We're all mutants. Let's start from the very beginning. According to the comics, mutants were artificially created by the Celestials. Think of them as space gods. Five million years ago, they genetically augmented the DNA of our ancestors, Homo erectus, to create mutants, Homo superior. Now this is wrong because Homo erectus weren't actually around until two million years ago, and not five. While the rest of humankind evolved for the next, I guess, five million years, mutants apparently did not? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. Because the only known mutant species is Homo superior. You know what? I'll buy it. Because there are actual animals that have not evolved for millions of years, and they are crocodilians, velvet worms, lice, and even the horsetail plant. Maybe mutants are so well adapted to their environment that there isn't a need to evolve. Mankind has evolved since then. Yes. Into us. Okay, well, scratch that origin story, um, I guess mutants evolved from humans. Although the evolution of mutants is unclear, we do know that all mutants have the X gene, or the X-factor chromosome. Wait, what? Genes and chromosomes are two different things. Genes are segments of DNA that instruct our cells to make proteins. A gene is located on a chromosome, which consists of a tightly packed DNA strand with proteins. If this is the case, then technically mutants are not a separate species and are considered humans, since the accumulation of genetic differences over time is what defines an evolved species. Sorry, but having one extra gene just doesn't make the cut. It's okay, let's further examine the X gene. It's located on chromosome pair 23 which are the sex chromosomes. Men typically have an X and a Y chromosome, whereas women typically have two X chromosomes. Probably because of branding, the X gene is on the X chromosome. This means that it's an X-linked gene. The comics never really specified whether it's dominant or recessive. For now, let's say it's a dominant X-linked gene. This means that if a mutant male has kids with a human, all the sons will not receive the gene, only the daughters will. But then here we have Dakin, the mutant son of Wolverine, and Itsu, a human. Okay, so maybe the X gene is recessive. Mutant men would need one copy of the gene, whereas mutant women would need two. Women that have only one copy would be carriers and will not exhibit superpowers. Let's look at Magneto's family, for example. He has two children with Magda, a human. They have a son, Quicksilver, who's a mutant, and a daughter, Scarlet Witch, who's also a mutant. Hmm. Perhaps Magda is a carrier of the gene and passes the X gene to her children. Let's look at another family. Mystique has two copies of the recessive gene and has a child with Sabretooth who has one copy. They have a son together, Graydon Creed, who's also a mutant, right? Nope, he's a human. That does it! What? Okay, so maybe there isn't an X gene, but rather an X factor chromosome. What are we looking at? That's what she said. And you know what? I... What was that? Okay, James. Why does the chromosome look like that? <laughs> it's not like a vessel for DNA, it, it is DNA. Also, why is it just out in the bloodstream with red blood cells? If we're going with the chromosome explanation, that means that mutants have 24 pairs of chromosomes, one more than humans. Now, as we've seen, mutants have had children with humans despite having a difference in the number of chromosomes. In real world science, this is possible. Take mules, for example. They're a cross between a horse and a donkey. Because the parents differ in chromosome number, mules are sterile and unable to reproduce. Let's bring back Magneto's family. Scarlet Witch would be considered a hybrid since her dad Magneto is a mutant and her mom is a human. So then Scarlet Witch would be sterile, right? Yep. So tell me why she was able to have a child with Nightcrawler. Hmm? Ah, uh, okay. Much of the information released is contradictory, given that none of the Marvel writers are geneticists, or even thought about consulting with a scientist. But it's okay. It still doesn't take my love away from the whole X-Men comics and franchise. Although, they never really explain how Professor X came back to life. Hello, Moira. Who the f are you? Who you is? Who you be? Hmm. Alrighty guys, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It means the world to me because I take a long time editing and putting everything together. If you learned something, please like, subscribe, and also turn on the bell notification. So this week's shout out goes to Who's That Pokemon? 
Vulpix the most kawaii. If you want a shout out on my next video and a chance to win free lap shenanigans merch, comment down below a DNA emoji. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.